Now, here's a overhanging beam reaction problem that I'm going to work through with you now. This would be more similar to what you would see in one of your NZDE exams. Again, we've got our overhanging beam, overhanging one meter at one end, overhanging two meters at the other end. We have a 10 kilonewton force, a 15 kilonewton force, and a UDL. I haven't put a weight in that, so we'll just say that that's five kilonewtons per meter. So, as with the simply supported, I'm just going to redraw that and simplify some of the information. And this also helps with my understanding of the problem. So 10 kilonewtons acting there. At this point, would we, we would have our left reaction at one meter. 15 kilonewtons acting at that point, two meters in. We've then got two meters before our UDL starts. Okay, and we have our reaction at a further one meter. And two meters there. Now what we want to do is convert our UDL into a single point load. And we do know that the single point load will act directly in the middle or at the centroid or the center of the UDL. So we can represent that at that point there at which this will be 1.5 and this will be 0 0.5 from that point there. Okay, so it's three meters long, 1.5 in, 1.5 in. The weight of our UDL equals our five kilonewtons per meter times our three meters, so it equals 15 kilonewtons. And we write that 15 kilonewtons. So now we have an overhanging beam, there's our right reaction, with our three point loads, the third one representing the UDL. Now we can begin to solve it. Again, for equilibrium, upward forces equal downward forces, leftward equal rightward, clockwise moments equal anti-clockwise moments. So I'm going to take moments from RL first. So clockwise, and you need to be careful at this point because unlike the simply supported, not all the upper forces will cause a clockwise moment, as you'll see. So if we start with the 10, if 10 was the only, only force there, it actually causes an anti-clockwise moment. So we'll leave that for now. So we have 15 times 2, which causes a clockwise moment. And we have 15 times 2, 4, 5, and 0.5, so it's plus 15 times 5.5. And that will equal our anti-clockwise moments. I'll just write in there, taking moments from our L. So our anti-clockwise moments, we have 10 times one, because that's causing an anti-clockwise moment, and we have our R times five. So there's our equation with one unknown, so we can go through and start solving it now. So let's simplify things. 15 times 2 is 30, plus 15 times 5.5. I'll need the calculator for this. 15 times 5.5 equals 82.5 equals 10 plus 5R. Uh, uh. So let's rearrange the formula. We're going to have 30 plus 82.5 minus the 10 will bring over and then we'll divide all that by 5 and that will equal our R. Uh, so we'll rattle that into the calculator plus 30 uh, minus 10 equals divided by 5 equals and it equals 20.5 kilonewtons. Right. That's the one side done. Now let's take moments from our, our, our right hand side here. And again, clockwise equals anti-clockwise. So let's do the clockwise first. So what forces are going to cause the beam to turn clockwise? Well, the UDL, 15 times 0.5, it's the only one on the beam, it would cause a clockwise motion. So we've got 15 times 0.5. And the second force along would cause an anti-clockwise. The RL will cause a clockwise. So that would be plus um, RL times 5 equals. So now our anti-clockwise moments 
Well, we have 15 times three, plus our 10 times one, three, five, six. 10 times six. So let's simplify these equations. Um, half of 7.5 plus 5RL equals 45 plus 60. Rearrange the formula so we make RL the subject. RL equals 45 plus 60. The 7.5 goes over becomes a negative 7.5 and the 5 goes over becomes a divide by 5. And that will equal, if we add it all together, 45 plus 60 minus 7.5 equals, divide by 5 equals, and I get 19.5 kilonewtons. So this equals 19.5 kilonewtons. Okay, we've done our calculations, let's do our check. As with the simply supported beam, upward forces must equal downward forces. So in our upwards direction, we've got 10 plus 15 plus 15 equals 40. In our downward direction, we've got 19.5 plus 20.5, and that equals 40 also. So there we are, we can deem ourselves correct.